YouTube, y'all. Welcome back to another video. Do I sound aesthetic? I am, actually. I'm actually glad that I get to give y'all quality, real-life content um, because I have another story time for you guys. It's actually an old story time continued. Ain't that, ain't that crazy? Like, how, how am I doing an old story time continued? Am I tripping? I'm trying to find the screenshots right now so I could go off this shit. This all came about... Well, mm, okay, so the first... I need to start. The all I'm doing is flat iron my hair, so... Do my hair with me while I tell this continued crazy ass fucking story because I don't know what I do to bitches, but whatever I'm doing, I need to not do anymore because bitches are obsessed. That's it. If you guys remember, I'll post a clip right now of the video that I made about this girl that I used to be cool with. Oh, fucking well. Respect your bitch, bro. I used to tell her all the, that all the time. Like, respect your fucking relationship. Your girlfriend clearly feels some type of way about us being friends. You still want to be my friend, bro? That video. Y'all seen what happened there. You know, you think it'd be done. I'm pretty sure she commented on the video too, but I deleted that shit. Because, bitch, you're not getting a second of fucking anything from me. I don't know why this bitch keeps... I feel like she wants me to talk about her. That's what it's giving. She wants me to talk about her. And you know what, bitch? You're getting it. Two fucking years later, you're getting it. Because you're a fucking creep. And if you're watching this video, leave me the fuck alone like for real just leave me alone don't write me don't nothing this bitch went to the last fucking resort and went to playstation to send me this i know it's a little fucked up because i had to take a picture of it on my phone took it upon herself to write me that i'm just confused i seen that while i was just laying in the bed one day i had glanced up and i'm like am i like am i blind like am i am i seeing this right this is where it all is about to um continue from not that not this specific message because this was the day before my birthday if you cannot tell of 2023 yes we're just gonna talk about all the times that she has tried to hit me up or try to sneakily be in my life since all that happened are you ready so if you don't remember i think i named her britney but we're just gonna call her this bitch i don't really care i don't have any respect for this bitch no more she's a fucking weirdo and i really wish she'd leave me alone and you know what's crazy like i wish that you could get restraining orders for people like this i can understand why they don't get restraining orders because like you could have like an ex-girlfriend that's just like really wants you back or something and it's just blowing your shit up and then you're like no i want a restraining order but no this shit is creepy like you're creepy and if you think that all these years of you trying to hit me up or trying to slick be in my twitch or slick write me on little shit um isn't creepy then you need help baby you need help this is something that i never thought would happen in my whole entire life ever something wrong with this girl anyways so um i did watch my video the other day to make sure like i didn't repeat some stuff i think i'm going to repeat one thing and that's it but it's still relevant but everything else happened after that y'all after that video none of these are in order by the way because these are just screenshots that i found from me and my best friend's messages i kind of just like was going through you know how you could go through attachments and stuff on or through like your messages and i just found a couple of these and then i looked up the psycho bitch's name and i just screenshotted so none of these are really in order but these are other instances that this girl just cannot leave me the fuck alone and when i tell y'all i don't even feel like i need to say this no i feel like i need to say this because i'm one of those friends that like flirt to be funny you know what i'm saying like i just be like yeah, like oh let's kiss or whatever the fuck but when i really don't fucking like you bitch if you give me weird vibes i'm not gonna play like that with you because you go take it too serious and this is one of them bitches that i would have never i never did that with never said anything remotely fucking not nothing nothing i showed y'all the fucking proof i noticed that i didn't show the messages from the playstation but y'all it was 52 screenshots who the fuck gonna show all that? And her girlfriend seen it, so I really don't give a fuck. So, backstory. Y'all can go watch the video, I'll pin it, but backstory, since I'm going all over the place already and haven't even started the video yet. Backstory is I was friends with this girl. I met her on GTA. She used to bother the fuck out of me on there. I honestly thought this was like an eight-year-old. Not my true feelings coming out, bitch. I really don't give a fuck. Like, I really thought she was an eight-year-old just bothering me. You know how like little kids just be bothering you, like spamming you and doing all the extra shit? And ended up being cool with her and then she put us onto Fortnite. When she put us onto Fortnite, I guess her and her girlfriend got into it one day. She wrote me on some, I just need someone to talk to. I don't want to be in this relationship no more, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, I'll be there for you. Just being nice. Because that's who the fuck I am. Like, I'm just a nice person. And if you need someone to talk to and I'm available, I will talk to you. Not on the phone, though. <laughs> this girl's girlfriend, like, we were running on Snapchat. She kept asking for my number. I told her no. But then her girlfriend, I guess, seen that message and decided to write me saying that she didn't want us giving each other our phone numbers, blah, blah, blah. Even though she wanted to claim that we were friends. Like, when I said I didn't even want to be her friend, she's like, well, well I guess if y'all were friends, then why can't y'all just be friends and not have each other's phone number? And I'm like, what kind of fucking friend doesn't have their friend's phone number? That's dumb. What the fuck? But whatever. I didn't even care. I, I didn't, I never gave this girl my number or nothing. I was on some, no, you're too, you blow me up too much and I don't like giving people my number that blow me up. 
because I will literally just block you, I swear to God. So then me and the girlfriend get to talking and the girlfriend asking all type of dumb questions like, because she would ask me shit and I'd be like, I don't remember. She's like, how you don't remember? And I'm like, it's on Snapchat, Snapchat message to delete, you're a dumbass bitch. Jesus Lord, they need help. I wonder, I honestly, I hope they're not together no more because that girl, even though she was a fucking insecure bitch, why she had to sit here and say that she wasn't insecure, um, literally said out her own mouth she wasn't insecure. I really hope she found better because that girl, I don't know if she don't want you or she, you ain't doing something that she want or whatever, but she was definitely looking, baby. She was on that. And the bitch also tries to say that, um, I was trying to fuck with her, like, I was flirting with her. Like, it was like a mutual thing. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Please show the fucking receipts. Please, to this day. Since you want to be in my life so bad, please show me receipts today of when the fuck I've ever ever gave you a fucking hint clue anything that i've been on that with you ever tell me please i would love to know if you can send me a message and show me a screenshot of whenever i tried to fuck with you or said anything remotely flirty to you i will get on here and make a whole apology video whole apology video i will call you out by name i will retract everything i said do it because you can't bitch so that's what happened basically Stop being cool with the bitch because she was fucking weird. And her girlfriend was on some other shit and I don't got time for that. Like if you insecure, just say that. Because ain't no bitch finna write me talk about some. I don't want you being friends with my girlfriend. That's basically what she said. And then, oh, and then this bitch got on her girlfriend's phone trying to act like her girlfriend. Talk about, she's such a good person and blah, bitch. Anywho, so after this happened, there are some instances of when this bitch would just pop up out of fucking nowhere. And mind y'all, I don't know if I could like tell by now. I don't give a fuck about this bitch feelings i don't because she's a fucking weirdo like for real like i'm not even trying to be funny so like you don't get no mercy i don't respect you a fucking tiny little bit like you ain't shit bitch you're fucking weird i've done nothing fucking to you i wish you could find some peace to go find somebody else to fucking play with bitch because i'm over it 10 minutes later that's crazy that i said all that in 10 minutes i feel like i said a lot but anywho so i had posted like a question thing on instagram story like ask me a question i don't remember exactly what i said but it said something about a question where people could type this random account, y'all, random fucking account, go right in it and say, can we ever be friends again? Once they said again, I was side-eyeing it. I'm like, again? I don't have, and especially at that time, I didn't have friends that I wasn't friends with anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody I was cool with. So, like, I was like, who? Hmm, that's a little fishy. Did a little digging and go to the DMs of this person. They said, like, two months before... I want to play with you. Then they wrote me four days after that and said, come on, I'm going to take you to dinner. So then on that post, I had wrote them like, who is this? And I don't think they wrote me back. I think I just blocked them because I knew that it was her. Come on now. Friends again, be fucking for real. And I want to play with you, be fucking for real. I really don't understand why you thought that you was like going to get away with that. And I was going to be like, oh shit. Or even want to be cool with you ever again in life. No, you're a fucking weirdo. Like, and you thought like, no, I feel like that is the person like allegedly that would be like i'd say allegedly but like would kill me if they see me in person you're fucking weird bro like you're obsessive as fuck and it's disgusting like why would i ever want to be cool with you can someone please fucking tell me so then after that side note i really need to color this like i need to get back natural because this is grown out way too fucking far and looks stupid i don't know if i told y'all this but um i had wrote her girlfriend first time that she wrote me after like all that stuff happened and I was like, can you please get your bitch? She's still trying to talk to me. Like, can you please control her? So mind you, that's what I'm telling my friend. Like, do you want me to write your bitch again? Because I will, bitch. I love being a little messy sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. But I don't think I ended up writing her. I just didn't care enough after that. But it was still fucking weird, right? And even my friend said, like, I wish you'd get a restraining order. Because she knows, bro, this girl is fucking creepy. Like, can you not leave me alone? I really don't know what I did to you. Like, I really don't. I don't know what I do to a lot of people, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But the people that I stopped being cool with, the only reason I stopped being cool with them is because they got a little too weird about the shit. So one time I was streaming. This was, like, early on when I just, like, first started streaming for real. This person come on my account saying some funny shit. I don't remember what the fuck they were saying. I had texted my friend and I said, this account is this person for sure. I said, I know this for a fact. Said, I was reading the comments like, why is this person being so weird? I was just about to ask you if you want me to ban them. I'm dead as fuck. I said, girl, no, it's okay because she thinks she's slick. And it was funny. It was real cute. I think after that, I ended up telling her to block her because I was just like, it's fucking weird now. Like, because I know it's you. You're trying to act like it's not. Like, that's weird that is so fucking weird who has enough time to do that i would love to know like who really sits there and is like oh shit chrissy's live let me make a fake account and go on her shit just so i can have a fucking conversation with her bitch you will get blocked like as soon as i peep you if you have not noticed by now 
you're getting fucking blocked. And I told her, like, she's making it so obvious. Like, and I feel like she was making it obvious on purpose. So I knew it was her and would just be like, cool with it. Like, just to, like, you know how you like want to talk to somebody, but you scared. So you kind of like make it obvious that it's you, but like still don't want to come out and say it's you. That's what she was giving that night. Like, girl. And then you ended up getting fucking banned because you're a fucking weirdo. The bitch probably still be on my shit to this fucking day. For real. But just don't say nothing. Cause you know, if she do, she gonna get blocked. She's a weirdo. So then this girl, so I had texted my friend, so I'm gonna like go back and forth from this. So this girl, I think this is like when I first started streaming and we weren't talking anymore because I didn't block her on Twitch. I blocked her on everything else and apparently PlayStation too. I didn't block her off Fortnite until like she was really on some weird shit. And one day I'm like, let me just block this girl because she's a fucking weirdo. I had texted my friend and I'm like, tell me why I'm just streaming. And this girl was on there. She said, at least you know now that you always have someone watching your stream. She just got mad because she asked when we were going to play again. And I told her to stop playing with me. Because this, and I remember this, I wish I had the vibe, bro, I swear to God. This bitch came on my shit and was talking to me. And I'm looking at the account like, am I tripping? Like, I'm looking at it like, am I tripping? Because this is not no fucking joke, bro. I'm convinced you don't understand how fucking weird you are. And you really need to understand that what you be doing is fucking disgusting and creepy. And I would never in my life date somebody like you. You're giving very much snappy vibes. She's giving like, if I can't have you, no one will kill Bill type shit. Like, no, bitch. So why do you even think that you could even come on my shit and be cool? Like, she was confident every single time. Like, no, never in my life, ever in my life. Would I do that? She gives me killer vibes. Like if something happened to me, it would probably be her. And I'm not, like, I'm not even trying to be funny. This bitch is creepy. So I had taken a screenshot and I can't see the whole thing, but she said, I'm pretty sure she said, before I go though, Chrissy, when can we play again? Or can we play again? Or whatever, something play again. That's when I said, stop fucking playing with me. And then she goes say, you goofy, I swear. Good night, Chrissy. Bitch. Like, I just, ugh. Disgusting. Ew. And then the bitch tried to send me a friend request on PlayStation. My chest starting to hurt. <laughs> Girl, it's just like, it's never fucking ending. The girl be writing me on Twitter. The girl be writing me everywhere. And I just want everybody to know that this bitch has still not left me alone to this day, literally, to this year. Can't even say day, year. I've yet to block her on PlayStation because I was so thrown off that day I just wanted to do something else because she's fucking creepy, like I've been saying. So I just want to do something else. So I was like, I'm not even about to worry about that right now. I still have yet to block her. And I really do. Like, no funny shit. This bitch is fucking... I hope that she's single and I hope that she heals. And that's all I have to say. It's not all I have to say, but like, I really hope she heals because what you do, bitch, is not cute and it's not funny. I, I don't think it's normal at all. Like, what you do is very much disgusting. I would never act like that towards a friend. Cause remember you were saying that I wanted to fuck with you, but then before you were saying, it was like, as soon as she found out that we was not gonna be cool no more, she's like, oh yeah, she was fucking with me. We were fucking with each other. Like, why would you tell your girlfriend that, you fucking weirdo? Like, what the hell? You gonna switch it up last second? First we was just cool, now we fucking around? Bitch, you're not even my type. I've been saying that. Everybody know. If y'all were to see this bitch, which y'all probably never fucking will, she is not my type and would never be my type. Ever. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I don't even have a type, but she ain't my fucking type. The way you act, bitch, is not my type. The way you look is not my type. So, not, I was gonna say sorry. I don't know why the fuck I was gonna say sorry. I'm not fucking sorry, because you're a fucking weirdo. You need to get your shit together. For real. I don't even know how old this bitch is anymore. It's been, what, two years since I've actually, like, talked to this girl? Literally? Like, legit? Like, I mean, besides that day on fucking stream, but other than that, like, by myself, nobody else around talked to you. It's been two years, and you're still... Hitting me up with a middle finger, bitch. I'm actually, I was gonna say that I'm glad that I'm still on your mind, but I'm not. I'm actually creeped the fuck out. Like, this is creepy. And I really wish you would leave me the fuck alone. Like, for real. Cause that shit is just disgusting. That's one creepy thing about being on the fucking internet. For real. And that's why I'm getting a degree, baby, and I'm getting the fuck up out of here. For real. Like, no more YouTube for me, and I'm dead ass. Because this shit is like, that's creepy. And it's like, for the rest of my life, people are always gonna know me, and I'm never gonna have peace. And wherever the fuck I go, because this bitch could really be watching me right now. She probably watches every- she's probably tuned into every single video. She probably got my OnlyFans, to be fucking for real. I've been saying leave me alone for years now. And I get on my fucking PlayStation minding my damn business, and you wrote me on my birthday, the day before my birthday. It probably was my birthday. I don't even know what time it was at. That's all I really have to say. What if I was like, alright y'all, I'm done. Did not even doing my hair. But, moral of the fucking story, this girl needs to leave me the fuck alone. And I hope you see this shit, bitch. And I hope you realize that I do not fuck with you at all. There's no rekindling, bitch. Not fucking happening. I don't give a fuck. Someone could put a gun to my head, baby. And it's not happening. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to fucking say. So I'm gonna finish my hair and then we're gonna end this video, cause, ugh. All right, y'all, I'm done. 
yeah, baby, I'm done. This is my hair. I know, it's gotten so long, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm like fishing for compliments. Like, is it my hair so long and full? Oh, y'all, I think I'm about to start growing out my undercut. So, um... Get ready for that process. I'm not sure yet because I've said that a couple times already and then it gets to that point where it's like too long and bothering me and I'm just like, ew. Because if y'all did not know, I've had my undercut since I was 16. So it has been 11 years. It's been a long time. Even like it's growing out now, as you can see, like there's a lot. It gets to a point like it, when it's like all right here, like you see how far it goes. Like that shit pisses me off and I just want it off. So I don't know, but I really do want to um start growing it out because i feel like if i had all this hair at the bottom it would look fuller but it's like it's super thin without it um i do like putting in like clip-ins and stuff when i like go outside in the house i'm not putting in clip-ins but yeah thank you guys for letting me rant to you guys this bitch needs help bitch if you comment good luck because i'm gonna let everybody know it's you so um you can get cussed fuck out because get off my shit i'm just joking that's very mean but i'm just over it like i'm just like girl two years later i'm still on your fucking mind faithfully and it's crazy because i blocked you on most things so like you're making fake shit to look at my shit that's fucking weird but yeah that's all thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and make sure you follow all my social media at the end of the video and i'll see you guys next time bye y'all